Crow used to have my father in the Clone Wars. Now he begs you to help him in his struggle against the Empire. I regret that I am unable to present my father's request to you in person, but my ship has fallen under attack, and I'm afraid my mission to bring you to Alderaan is failed. I have placed information vital to the survival of the Rebellion into the memory systems of the SAR-2 unit. My father will know how to retrieve it. You must see this droid safely delivered to him on Alderaan. This is our most desperate hour. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only help. All right, Doc Rampageo here with another DKTV toy unboxing. And today I'm looking at the San Diego Comic-Con Star Wars The Black Series Obi-Wan Kenobi exclusive figure set. Let's dive right in. Obi-Wan Kenobi comes in a nice black box. It has some great artwork on the front of Alec Guinness as Obi-Wan Kenobi. Um, if you open it up, it's got a quote from Princess Leia that is the speech that she gives in the hologram. On the side, we have a gray area with the Jedi logo that says Obi-Wan Kenobi. On the other side, we have a bio of Obi-Wan. And also on the other side, this strange drawer that comes with uh, instructions for changing the batteries of the table. See those right here. Uh, that's how you change the batteries on the table. And then it also comes with a stand that appears to be made to hold up the artwork on the front. I don't quite understand the purpose of this little stand, but I guess if people want to display this Obi-Wan cutout or this quote, I guess more power to them, right? But packaging can only take you so far, and the real meat of any exclusive figure is the figure. And as someone who opens his toys, here we go, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Let's look at him. All right, so the main draw of this set for me, obviously, beyond the Kenobi, because we're going to get him in the regular waves, that's for sure. Um, I'm gonna look at him in a minute, but we're gonna start out with the table, which is what really made me want this set. Here is the uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi's home table. Uh, it has the hologram Princess Leia, something I was very excited about, which I, I hadn't really watched any unboxing of this before I got it off Hasbro Toy Shop because I knew it was just gonna hurt my soul if I watched them and didn't get this, so I didn't watch anything. So I was pleasantly surprised to find that the hologram comes right out of the table, which is great for taking pictures if you just want the table to be a table. Um, hologram Princess Leia is small and translucent blue. Unlike the uh, cross-sell shots, her face is not painted, thank God, because that looked awful in those pictures. But yeah, the tables are pretty simple. You push this little pot thing down and she does her whole thing. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only help. She, sa she says that, and then she does the longer one. Senor Kenobi. I regret that I am unable to present my father's request to you in person. But my ship has fallen under attack, and I'm afraid my mission to bring you to Alderaan is safe. My father will know how to retrieve it. My father will know how to retrieve it. And if you hit the button again, it will stop the speech. So that's good, because you can keep it from going off all the time. So yeah, I mean, it's pretty simple. It's molded in uh, gray plastic. I mean, not gray. It's more of a tan, tannish gray sand color for Tatooine. Uh, the pot is the button. And then there's these two little things, which are spigots or pipes. Who, who knows what Obi-Wan gets up to in there besides communicating Qui-Gon. I'd love to know. Maybe Disney should make an Obi-Wan Kenobi movie starring Ewan McGregor. I know a lot of people would watch that. But I think this table's great. I think it's a great accessory. I think it's going to be great for pictures. I think it's an iconic moment from the first Star Wars film that everyone loves. Uh, Hologram Princess Leia is just incredible. This is a great table. It's a great bonus to this set. But let's get to the figure itself. Old Obi-Wan. I wonder if he means old Ben Kenobi. But this figure is pretty good. It has a couple of issues that I don't necessarily like, but overall, it's a great figure. Um, it's actually the first appearance of a true Jedi robe. We had the robe on Palpatine, 
which is obviously a little different, but it is nice to finally see Jedi robes in the line proper. Um, hopefully future Jedi characters will come with this because I know my young Obi-Wan, my young Anakin, my Jedi Luke are all missing robes. And there is the aftermarket ones. So there is that, but it would be nice to have some official ones. And much like Palpatine, this hood is a little hard to get to sit right, but you can get some pretty good poses out of it. And the sleeves are nice and long. It's, it's a good Jedi robe. I think it's very good. Um, maybe not as good as the aftermarket ones, but for mass production, this is great. Um, underneath the robe, the sculpt is actually a lot better than I thought it would be. Uh, you get a really good uh, profile, a good head on. It looks like Obi-Wan. I can't see anything terribly wrong with it. I think this is a great I think it's a great head sculpt. I think this figure is really cool. Underneath the robe, however, is where some of the problems do start. Let's pop his robe off here. It's a little tight. Under the robe we have Obi-Wan and just the straight uh, tan robes that he wears. These arms, my problem is they don't have a lot of elbow movement necessarily because the sleeves are, oh, this is totally reversed. So the arms actually have better movement than I thought previously because they were apparently reversed underneath the robe. So that definitely helps, but there's still not a ton of movement in the elbows, which would be nice. That's really my biggest complaint of this figure, though. Underneath his robes, he's just got plain brown. Uh, but the robes do a good job of really not hindering the articulation at all, which is nice. Not that Obi-Wan necessarily moved around a bunch, and you really couldn't get him into any kind of sitting positions. But his legs do come out quite a bit, and the robe is nice and soft. The figure looks great. A little bit of pouch on the side. Uh, that's really all the um, flair he's got, but, I mean, he didn't really have a lot in the movies. This figure looks really cool, and it's, it's definitely a figure we've needed for a long time, especially with the farm boy Luke being out. Uh, if we just had C-3PO and the land speeder, we'd be almost all set with our um, old Ben stuff, because we have the sand trooper, we're getting the sand people. Um, Obi-Wan has a hook on his belt for his lightsaber. Now this is actually the one of the main problems I've had with my set, but I also think because this set was delivered when it was well over 100 degrees, there might have been some issues with it when I took it out of the box. But uh, his saber has been bent pretty severely trying to take it out of the handle. You can kind of get it in there, but it's not sitting right. So, I mean, that is probably on me for opening it when it's too hot. But the blade is supposed to be removed. And you can hook the handle right to his belt. Even though the young Obi-Wan has the lightsaber that plugs into his belt. This one has the hook. Apparently things change in a 20 or so years. But yeah, you can have it right there. Or you can have the lightsaber. As I showed, mine was ruined. I do have another blade kicking around that fits right in. So he has a lightsaber. This blade is actually a little more blue, which I kind of like. Let's put his robe back on. All right, so I got his robe back on, and it actually went on a little easier than it came off, which is nice. Um, the problem with a soft goods robe is the hood is always a problem. It actually sits fairly well sometimes on Obi-Wan. But the problem is you can't have it pulled back very convincingly. It kind of just flops around there. Which is a bummer because, you know, he didn't wear his hood very much in the movie. He definitely wore the robe. This hook is a little bit soft. So that's something to watch out for. It's kind of hard to get it to hang realistic. There we go. Who's the bigger fool? The fool or the fool that follows. So yeah, I think this is a great figure. I think the set is really good. I think I can't wait till this guy comes out as a regular release because I might actually buy a couple for customs because this is a great Jedi body. Um, as much like the old young 
the old young Obi-Wan is great for customs, I believe, as well, seeing there's so many of them around. But, yeah, this is a great set. Uh, if you missed out on it on Hasbro Toy Shop, your only real option is to buy it on the Crazy Secondary. Uh, I'm not sure how much it's going for. I have not looked. I don't think this set is necessarily worth too much more than retail, because you're looking at $45. I mean, $20 for the figure makes sense. But then $25 for this table in the box is a little much. I do wish, and I've wished this every year since they've started, Hasbro, I wish they could bring this stuff to us. I would buy this table again if it came in accessory pack, if it came with the Jabba stuff and the Han Solo and Carbonite. I would, I would dad, gladly buy that. But Hasbro has not done that yet. I think they should. Um, oh, actually, before I forget, totally slipped my mind, this set also comes with... Um, Anakin Skywalker slash Luke Skywalker's lightsaber, which we have gotten many times in the line already. Uh, the hilt is a little bit all silver com with one red dot compared to other ones that have usually black in here. The blade does come right out, so that's nice. Uh, no issues with this blade, just the one on Obi-Wan. But yeah, Star Wars The Black Series, San Diego exclusive, Obi-Wan Kenobi set, A-plus in my book. This is Doc Rampageo. We'll catch you next time on DKTV.